Hello, I want to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about EM12C, that's Enterprise Manager 12C and the PeopleSoft plugin. If you've seen 12C, you'll recognize the standard landing page, which is um, to some extent the dashboard and opening dashboard. But we're more interested in the, uh, for this talk, we're interested in the PeopleSoft targets. So we go to targets and PeopleSoft. You can see here the expanded uh, set of targets in this PeopleSoft environment. And in this case, we have a small people tools environment uh, under the uh, prod designation. We could have multiple designations, prod, test development, and we could have multiple environments, finance, HCM, CRM, ELM, and multiple instances of those environments. We can see here that the, uh, we're fortunate enough that all of these targets are up and running. And if I open the application server domain, you can see on the home page for the application server domain, it gives us the links uh, to both the database that lets us know the uh, operating system of the uh, or the People Tools version and the People Tools uh, uh, release version. And this here then is important because it contains the GUID for the database. I can go to the uh, performance tab. So this tab we look at the CPU usage, which is a good indicator, and uh, memory usage. These are standard panels that you'll see on pretty much all of the home pages or all of the performance pages for all of the targets. But the application server specific uh, panels are the, uh, the number of queued processes. These are the sort of things that customers would look at uh, on a fairly regular basis to see how the system is performing uh, using PS Admin. And I'll show you that in a minute. So again, this is a fairly quiescent system at the moment, so we don't have too much data in these panels. If we go to the administration tab, you'll see things that are more familiar to you if you're running uh, a PeopleSoft environment and using PS Admin to collect data. So you have things like the, uh, the queue status, which you can get from PS Admin. This is a, the text in this panel would be fairly familiar to most people. Uh, managing the uh, PeopleSoft environment. The other things we do have here, though, are the ability to configure the domain, create a domain that's that's uh, like this particular domain. If this domain has been set up as a standard, we can compare multiple domains uh, across the uh, enterprise. If uh, some of those domains seem to be acting uh, or performing out of spec. We can the, the first thing we would do then is just compare the domain configuration uh, to see if anything has uh, we've had some uh, scope or configuration creep. And then we have some ability to actually manage the domain, start and stop the domain, uh, cleaning the IP resources. Most people who have worked with PeopleSoft application servers will be familiar with the need for this task. The ability to execute ad hoc host commands on the host that's running the application server. And then, of course, if you've used the uh, TM, TM command line from, uh, from PS Admin, uh, the ability to access it from here then becomes very handy as well. The significant part of, of being able to use this panel is that the user IDs can actually be stored as uh, a standard IDs within the system so that the individual administrators don't have to remember all of the user IDs and passwords on various systems. And then the last thing we have, the last tab we have here are the logs. Now, most people end up looking through logs as part of a reaction to uh, the need to remediate issues. That tends to mean that logging on to the, uh, the application server itself 
uh, using putty or some other terminal access system and then scrolling down or uh, going down through the the various directory levels to get to the logs the ability to access those logs directly from here uh, again on multiple systems across multiple systems from this panel makes this uh, extraordinarily uh, efficient from the point of view of administrators you can also manage purging these and uh, or archiving uh, these logs from here you can go in and view the log directly we also have the ability to actually do a grep search on multiple logs at the same time so we can uh, check a log and add in a search string to, to search on that log so we're looking for things like uh, uh, errors or warnings uh, certificate errors start times uh, we can put in the search for that string in here and and fairly quickly come up with the 10 or 12 lines that we're interested in rather than trawling through hundreds of lines in the, in the log. As a, an example, we can have a look at all of the metrics that are gathered uh, for the application server. And we can set uh, warning thresholds and critical thresholds against any of these uh, metrics to generate alerts back to the administration uh, team. We just have a quick look at the the process scheduler. Again, the home page looks pretty much the same. Uh, we have the CPU and memory utilization as a single graph. When we open up the performance, we get some more panels. Again, any of these uh, can have alerts set against them in terms of the uh, critical and warning thresholds to send email or text messages to the uh, management staff, the administration staff. And again, we can look at the uh, metrics that are available here. As I said, uh, we can set warning and critical uh, threshold levels against any of these metrics. Again, on the administration page, we have, similar to the application server, we have a number of uh, quick links uh, into, the, uh, into the system, including we can set up the URL in the, uh, the P URL to get directly to the process scheduler. So this allows us to get to the process scheduler in the in, in PIA. And again, as with the application server, we can uh, do a quick link to the uh, process status and the queue status on the process scheduler. And as I said, anybody who runs PS Admin will be familiar with the content of this panel, if not the uh, format of the panel. But the important thing to remember is, is that this panel is available directly from this single interface across all of the instances of, uh, of process scheduler domains and application server domains. get back to the main panel. If we have a look at the, uh, the PS website page, we've got some interesting uh, access from here. Again, the standard home page with the memory and CPU utilization. But the administration tab here gives us some useful links. Uh, we can do a test sign on to PIA. That is a standard PS sign-on. 
Let me just close that window just to show that the link goes directly to the window. Once we're in here, then we can uh, access any of the features on on here in that instance. The other interesting uh, link here is the link to integration broker. So again, we can uh, we can do some analysis on the outstanding messages, the uh, typical integration broker uh, type administration that we need to do from uh, from a, from a peer page. And the last one I look at here is the peer page or the uh, peer target. And again, going back to the uh, administration tab here, we can look at a number of, uh, again, interesting links. We can start and stop here from here. We can uh, add additional uh, PeopleSoft sites. Look at the uh, web XML file and configure that and configure the uh, setenv.cmd file. Let's go back to the home page.